What's up car explainers? Today we'll be looking at the advanced driver assistance systems in the 2020 Toyota Highlander. So we'll take a look at how to use and understand the communication back from the car on the lane departure warning, adaptive cruise control that can follow the car in front of you, and the active lane trace assist or lane centering system. And was quite surprised at how well these systems worked together. Uh, you can also choose them independently. So with that, let's first take a look at some of the controls and they're all based right here on the steering wheel. This first button here turns the cruise control system on and off. So it's just a quick little flip with the thumb. The next button you see here, the little car with the dashes in front of it, is the gap or distance uh, setting button. So you can choose between a couple different settings. The top button allows you to resume after the cars come to a stop or accelerate and choose a higher speed uh, from your cruise control. And then on the bottom, you use that to set the speed that you initially want to set the cruise control system at, and you can use that as the decelerate or slow down button as well. Next to that, we have the lane departure warning and lane trace assist system button, and this can be used independently of the cruise control. So now we've gotten onto the highway, uh, gotten up to speed, and we'll initially set up the lane departure system, turning it on. See the lane lines come up there on the top, and now they move down to the bottom. So filled in lines indicate the system sees the lane lines. We've drifted, so the blue line came up. And it's interesting, you see the right side lane marker went dark as we went past a ramp, but now it's back on and can see the lane lines. Again, triggering a lane departure kind of warning with the blue and then there is that active kind of nudge that the car gives you. When you go too far outside it turns orange and there's the audible alert. Now we'll turn on the radar cruise control system. And now we've set the speed, 64, and adjusting the following distance gap. You can kind of see cycling through three different levels. You can turn the system, the lane trace system on or off. And so with lane trace active, you see the lane line that used to just read white uh, can go blue. So that's when the adaptive cruise control system is set. It goes into the lane trace uh, mode that helps center the car within the lane. See the little car icon pop up. It, the car is acknowledging that it, there is a vehicle ahead that is kind of latched onto for that distance following. We were able to keep our hands off the wheel for a pretty amazing amount of time. So just around six minutes. Again, this is a fairly straight stretch of highway uh, with some soft curves and we were ready to take over. Uh, but it went nearly six minutes before requesting the driver to put their hands back on the wheel. That has to be one of the longest times uh, we've encountered in a vehicle with this type of driver assistance system. Pretty impressive. One of the last things we wanted to show is the communication for the auto brake hold function. So here we'll turn it on, you see the little green hold icon pop up. And when the vehicle comes to a complete stop, uh, the orange hold icon comes up when the vehicle is holding. Again, just a good visual confirmation 
uh, that the vehicle has taken over kind of that braking function. And as we take off, you'll see that the hold icon uh, will go away. You also see a kind of a counter for the uh, engine start stop system there at the bottom. So now we've released and we're back on our way. Thanks so much for watching. We hope this has been an informative video, just a quick view of how to use the advanced driver assistance systems in the Toyota Highlander and what the controls and icons all kind of mean and give you more confidence in using these systems, which we find really helpful.